Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> Apparently, I didn't press record earlier. So, I'm building a 10 foot by 12 foot uh, chicken truck or tractor. This coming spring, we're gonna raise meat birds. So, we'll have the kids will have their batch of hens that lay eggs and stuff, and they'll probably hatch some of them. But the meat birds are actually gonna be for us to eat through the year, and also, we'll obviously, sell a lot of them for other people to eat too. The first batch we're gonna do is about 50. We're gonna see how it goes and see what we need to change or see if we could just do more. Maybe they don't really need that much. So, back to work. For those of you that are wondering, I have a lot of lumber that I stack up. I've built shelves and stuff on this lean-to in the back corner. So like for instance, when we built this lean-to, I always add 10% of what I actually need with the exception of a few things like rafters. I didn't buy extra of those because I knew exactly how many I needed. I knew exactly how I was gonna cut them and I was very precise about it. But for other stuff, incidentals, so you know, the purlings and stuff for the roof, I bought extras. I bought extra four x four posts just in case something went wrong and I cut one too short or something. But, so if you're wondering, I'm always pulling stuff from back there, that's why. Yes, I had extra metal too from the build.
All right, so I've got the doors on. I have, uh, essentially these are uh, U-nails or, uh, man, I can't think of the actual term for them. But anyways, they're a U-shaped nail used for fencing usually. Anyways, uh, put these on here and then obviously you open it, close it like this, close is good. I'm going to make a mechanism uh, to hold this because if it's held at the end, that could easily pull back right here. So, and raccoons and other critters like that are pretty crafty. So I want to make sure that they can't get in. But overall, this is it. So I'll figure out something to hold those and then they'll have protection from that pin. If they want to go in there during the uh, during rain or something like that, or even overnight when it's raining. And then right here, you can see that these are their roosts, essentially, so they can hop up there and uh, get off the ground. Yeah, it's not a lot off the ground, but it is off the ground. So. That should work. And then, oh, I forgot to show you the best part. So we're gonna use the tractor, the little tractor probably, to move this thing for long distances and such, but I just thought I'd show you how easy it is to move it. And there you have it. We start using that this spring to uh, get all of our meat chickens and keep them in here and keep them safe. And they'll be ready to hang out. The, uh, oh, that's what I didn't show you. So the back, when it's on flat ground, this gravel is not the flattest. You can see there's high points, low points, stuff. Well, anyways, if you look at it, underneath of the tire here, I feel like it's not even touching the ground, but it's about, oh, pretty close to an inch uh, once this is set down. And you can adjust that by simply lifting a, or raising the wheels up a little higher. So hopefully this helps you in your decision on what you're gonna make for your chicken tractor. So if they like the video, what should they do? Mm. If you like the video, push the thumbs up button. Okay, and then what if they have questions about the video? What could they do? If you have questions about the video, leave in the put a, <laughs> a comment down below. And then if they like the content on our channel? If you subscribe. So think about it, if you subscribe, you can see that cute mug almost weekly. Pretty good deal. Bye bye.